announcing our biggest contest ever. And we're looking for people who love freedom and who want to be all in in the resistance to tyrants. So you say you want to fight the new world order. Why, if you were on the radio, if you were Alex Jones, you'd really kick some globalist ass. Well, here's your chance. We're hiring not one, but two new reporters whose reports are going to be on the radio, whose reports are going to be on the nightly news, who will even anchor the show. If you're ready, here's your chance to step into my shoes, and I hope you surpass what I've done. Two winners, $10,000 in prizes, and a shot to be a reporter inside the InfoWars.com command center. We're looking to hire one male reporter and one female reporter. And when you win, you win $5,000. Your video gets seen by hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people on YouTube. And you get put into the very front of the running to be hired as a reporter slash anchor right here in our operation. Do you have what it takes to be the next Info Warrior? The rules are posted below me here and at InfoWars.com. This is a big deal. You know, the globalists are expanding their global empire, but at the same time, the people are waking up all over the world. We've expanded our operations in the last year. We've added the nightly news five nights a week. We're making more special reports. We're reaching 15 million people every week. In a year, I want that to be 30 million. This is your chance to join the team. I want to see what you can do. But a big hint is this. Can your news piece make the news? Does it get people's attention? Does it educate people? Does it open minds? That's more important than being beautiful or speaking with perfect eloquence as an orator. All of that is important. But we're looking for people that have that magic spark, that fire of liberty in their heart. Because I want you to join our team. I want to give you a launch pad so you can really take off and engage the globalist. And if this works, we'll have contests all the time and we'll continue to build this operation. I'm involved in a talent search, looking for people who have the fires of liberty burning in their hearts and their minds. You've got until April 30th to complete your news report and then we'll announce the winners one week later. Are you gonna join the info war? Do you have what it takes? It's up to you. All serious entries will be posted on InfoWars.com. So everybody wins. You're getting the message of liberty out, and that's what really matters. But in the final equation, it's not about showing Alex Jones what you got. It's about showing the world and the globalist that no army can stop an idea whose time has come. Join me in the InfoWars. So you say you want to fight the info war. You say you want to go head up against the new world order. You can do a better job than Alex Jones. I know you can. And here's your chance to prove your mettle. Firemen pole, but those firemen <laughs> they didn't like you like coming by so late. Certainly did not like that at all. <laughs> they said, "Call our PIO." I said, "What's that?" Public information officer. He'll give you all your answers. I said, "Just let me ask you. I got beers." Well, you smell like beers as well. Do you like? I think you might be intoxicated. Excuse me, brother. I'm not intoxicated. I'm a news reporter trying to get some goddamn fucking answers to these questions. Sorry, do you like that's too goddamn bad? Because you come to our fire station after 10 p.m., 
We can't give you any answers. You gotta call the PIO and you will not be sliding down any fucking fireman poles at all. No Batman for you, son. Hello, hello. 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 Secret, like once a year, to decide the fate of all Americans. Really? How would you feel about it if a secret elite group was meeting a cabal of like 120 of the most influential people were meeting in secret to decide what was going to happen to you and your friends? How would you feel about that? That'd be crazy, man. That'd be something, something trippy to think about. That's something trippy to think yeah. about. Yeah. I'm kind of tripping you out a little bit, right? Yeah, just a little bit. All right, Doc. Well, check out Infowars.com. If I told you that was a cool website, would you check it out? Oh yeah, definitely. Man, all right, all right, man. I like your positivity, dog. Uh, yeah, dog. All right, thanks for being on the news. All right, that's being with you. All right, dog. Yeah, cool, man. thanks. Henry Kissinger! 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 Hey, Mr. Kissinger, what are you going to be doing at uh, Bilderberg this year in Switzerland? What am I going to do in Bilderberg? Bilderberg, yeah, in Switzerland. Do do it, Bilderberg. What, what happens there? Well, it keeps catching up there, you get to tap it. Can you expand on your quote when you said military men are dumb, stupid animals to be used as pawns for foreign policy? I never said that. Bob Woodward? Bob Woodward said you said that. <laughs> he's, one, he's the guy who comes Watergate. He's a trusted journalist. You never said that? Your greatest accomplishments have caused a lot of human suffering. Do you have any regret or remorse for the human suffering, Mr. Kissinger, that you caused millions of people in Chile and Argentina and East Timor? Mr. Kissinger, I know you're not going to respond, but I don't want your New World Order, and you won't have one, Mr. Kissinger. National sovereignty will prevail, freedom will reign, nation states will survive, sir, and you will not have your New World Order, your eugenics, because we are changed and we are taking this generation back, sir. He's a dangerous war criminal. Oh, yeah? You know Henry Kissinger? Uh, yeah, about him. Yeah, he's a dangerous Illuminati uh, scumbag. So, let me go. I'll show you how to do it. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. Let's go. 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 Let's go.